Hi everyone and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you or what messages they hold for you. So if you found yourself clicking on this video here, there's obviously something contained within this reading, a message or two that is meant to be delivered for you. So um, I believe that you were guided here, you were being led here for one reason or another. On that note, this is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you would like a personal reading, one that is tailored specifically to you and your situation, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, I won't be posing any questions, so we're just going to see what messages the cards can reveal to us. There is something here that's coming together for you guys. Um, something that feels very unexpected, but in a very beautiful way. So something unexpected, but very much destined for you here. Now, for some of you, what I'm seeing is that you are growing, okay, what you're going through. You're growing and it's strengthening you. It's, um, it's not weakening you, okay? It's evolving you. It's transitioning you into a new chapter or a new cycle of your life here. Some of you are finally starting to give yourself permission to be the person that you were destined to be, okay? And, all, um, and allow yourself access to all these wonderful things that you're destined for. I have a message for some of you listening here. Um, something here is taking place, I feel, in your life. And the message that I have for you is you can't always wait for the perfect time. You can't always wait for the perfect moment, the perfect circumstance or the perfect situation. Sometimes you have to make the timing work for you. Sometimes you have to dare yourself to do it. Take that risk here, okay? Because... Life's too short to just sit back and wonder what could have been, okay, what opportunities you've missed here. So I feel like for some of you, there's something here that you've been wanting to do and whatever this is, okay, whether it's in relation to a romantic relationship or a career, a profession, a dream here, a goal, a mini goal, you know, a long-term goal. There's something here that you've been wanting to do, but you keep pushing it further away by trying to, by trying to wait for the right you know, timing or the right circumstances. The timing is now. And I, the message that I have is, you know, make the timing work for you here. Five of Wands and the Two of Cups. If you don't go after what it is that you want, you'll never truly have it, okay? So for some of you, yes, there is competition you have to fight off. And others of you, you have to realize that you are your own competition and you may be getting in your own way here, okay? You are standing in your own way. So, you know, the first rule is very simple in life. If you don't go after what you want, you'll possibly never truly get it in the end. So there's, you have to show up for yourself or show up for someone else or show up for a situation here, even if you don't feel like it, even if you don't feel like you're going to win this battle, because I feel like there's something here that's coming together for you nicely. So just to give you an idea, it does feel like this is a part of your destiny that is being manifested and is due to be fulfilled. It does feel like there is a special person that might be destined to enter your life here or romantic connection here that's destined to take place. A... Um, a meeting of some sort, a, a meeting of a soul-based partner, a soulmate connection, okay? This feels very special because this is someone whom I feel like the two of you are attracting each other into your life here. 
And this is very much a soul-based relationship or a soul-based um, encounter. The reason why I say this is because this is I'm getting energies of acceptance, um, empowerment, patience, respect, freedom here. It's not ego-driven at all. Okay, um, you will. There's a soul recognition here of one another. Definitely has soul-based qualities attached to this um, energy or this connection here. Some of you could also be possibly reuniting with a past energy, but again, it's this past energy feels like they are soulmate, okay? And the two of you are destined to cross paths and meet with one another again, or you're destined, or you're destined to fulfill your destiny here, you know, the, the plans that the universe has orchestrated for the both of you. Um, but for some of you, I am saying that you're going to have to take some sort of risk or even action. I also want to say, despite, I mean, I spoke about um, a, like a, a fated meeting, okay, the two of you destined to meet under fated circumstances, but the truth, the honest truth is that it doesn't feel like, like, it doesn't necessarily feel like you were looking for each other, or that you're finally ready to meet each other. It's like you have known each other all along, okay? And it's that soul recognition, that soul-based quality that I'm talking and talking and referencing here, okay? It's just that this, just this instant recognition, this instant sense of familiarity, this person will feel like home or they will feel so familiar to you. And this is that soul recognition. It's like, yes, you guys will be finally coming back to meet each other, okay? Or... Um, for some of you, as I've mentioned, it is someone from your past. For others, it is someone new. But this is destiny. This is destiny at hand here. But it feels like you've known each other or you've sort of been in each other um, all along, really. Now, some of you may even even have known this person from a previous lifetime, and as a result, the memories that the two of you have created and shared in this previous lifetime have been imprinted on your soul and onto each other. And this is why there will be that instant recognition here. Okay, but it's definitely a pure love here. There's a lot of innocence and purity attached to this connection here. It also feels like... It's an energetic or a very spiritual based type of love. So this is something truly wonderful, um, truly, it's a truly beautiful connection here, a truly beautiful relationship, one that's very spiritual, um, very energetically attached here. It does feel like serendipity as well. Okay. Um, because for some of you, you'll have this feeling you, like you're discovering, you're sorry, discovering something so um, special here, but almost unintentionally as well. Giving will be the nature of this relationship. The both of you will be giving yourselves to each other. There's going to be that union, that instant connection, that instant recognition here. This person is almost going to be like a continuation of your energy and you're a continuation of their energy. And it's funny because prior to this individual with the star energy, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot, okay? You've even might have lost hope in love and lost faith here in true love and in, you know, relationships and in putting yourself out there and in um, opening you know yourself and your heart back up to loving someone but this person comes back into your life and suddenly all your lost faith and you know all your despair here all of that is being restored here it feels to me like some of you this encounter with this special person this romantic energy it's like a continuation of each other's energy here that's truly something very special See, a soul-based type of a connection is one that honestly, it sort of moves in a whole different vibration here. And it's it gives you an ability here to and an opportunity to experience love in its absolute most purest form here. Okay, with the sun card. Uh, it's a gift to you, and it's a gift, you know, it's a gift from the universe to you, um, to your soul partner here as well. 
equality, that balance, that equality here, that purity, that innocence, that hopefulness here. These are all qualities here that are very strong characteristics of the soul-based connection here. The, there is absolutely no ego here because all ego is being released and let go here. Okay, especially when it comes to communicating with one another. And you're going to reach a place with each other where you're truly able to um, work your own magic okay and weave it into this beautiful connection here there's definitely going to be a very spiritual growth that this connection is going to provide you with it's it's a love that feels completely unconditional it's a love that feels complete um wholesome very accepting here um it's very pure here no other relationship that has come before you, no other particular romantic energy that has come before this person, before this relationship here, was able to make you feel what this person and this connection will make you feel. Okay, It's this renewed sense of energy here, this spiritual growth, this personal growth here. This relationship will be, bring something very magical and extraordinary here. You'll be very dedicated as lovers and partners to one another. You're going to be extremely dedicated to each other and to the purity of this connection. Um, it tells me that this is the strongest bond you will ever have with a person or the strongest bond you've ever had here with someone. A very intense attraction, but it's not just you know primarily based on the physical attraction. It's that... Once again, circling back to that soul recognition, that spirituality here. You guys will um, almost instantly recognize each other as well. How? Um, by the feeling, okay? by the energy, the vibration frequency, but also, also by the small gestures that this person will use to communicate with you. Okay, Because this person is, as I've mentioned, Honestly, like a continuation of your energy. So you will instantly pick that up, guys. That encounter with this person, that encounter, that moment that the two of you will meet, it will instantly, um, it will be a moment that I feel like will definitely awaken an energy within you. And this energy feels like as bright and as fiery as the sun or the stars here, okay? Um... It's like an earth-shattering force, very strong here. This is incredible. The thing is, you're not always going to understand everything about each other or even um, about this connection here, at an intellectual level, that is. Um, so the things that you don't understand about each other at an intellectual level, you're definitely going to understand that at an emotional kind of or a spiritual type of level. So this is someone whom you're going to fall in love with and this is someone whom you're going to love but it's from a very sacred and a very special place from your heart and from theirs as well. Okay, so this is definitely a soul-based type of love and this person, this person is destined to arrive Okay, and it will all happen under divine set of circumstances, um, in divine perfection, in the div you know in the perfection of divine timing, um, in you know divine's orchestration here. All right, guys, so something very wonderful to look forward to, and these are your messages here. So thank you as always for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing, liking, sharing, um, commenting. If you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Even if you wish for me to continue on from this and personalize the reading to tailor it to your situation, my email will be listed below. Otherwise, bye for now.